Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I'd like to talk about the connection and similarity of the Solar Borska Tarot and the Wade Smith deck. So I've got my version of the Solar Borska Tarot here. And this deck was created round about the year 1491. And I'm going to show some cards from this deck and some cards of the Wade Smith deck. And this is a version of the Wade Smith deck that I like. This is the A.G. Mueller version of the deck and it's called the Tarot of A.E. Wade. I quite like the colouring of this deck. And I want to show um, at least six different cards and how similar they are. Um, a lot of people may not know that uh, at the time that the Wade Smith deck was being created, it was created around uh, 1909 and there was a exhibition of the Solar Busca deck in the British Museum and that was in 1907 which is two years before the Wade Smith deck was created and there is some evidence and I think this is documented somewhere that Arthur Wade actually instructed Pamela Coleman Smith to go to the British Museum and sketch some of the Solar Busca images uh, for inspiration for his deck. And the exhibition at the British Museum was actually photographs of each of the cards. And also there has been quite a lengthy study carried out by Giordano Berti and he has been studying the Solar Busca Tarot since 1986 and he identified at least three or three to four cards that he is basically certain um, influenced the Wade Smith deck. So I'm going to show you the uh, three or four cards that he identifies as being a direct um, inspirational link to the Wade Smith and I'm also going to show two additional images that I feel are very similar as well. So to start with this is the Ten of Swords in the Solar Busca and this of course is one of the three or four cards that Giordano Berti has identified as being very similar to the Ten of Wands. So this is the Ten of Swords. And don't forget, you know, the dating of this deck at least 400 years before the Wade Smith. And at a time when these were absolutely plain pip decks before people appeared in the Minor Arcana. I think it's quite unmistakable that this has influenced the Wade Smith deck. If you have a look at the Ten of Wands, you know, even facing the same direction. You no, know, even similar, similar, you know, hose and boots. It's 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 basically the same card. So this is the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. They're, they're basically the same card. So that's that set of cards. And then here is the Three of Swords of the Solar Busca. And this also at a time when, you know, this would have been the absolute first image of a card 
showing three swords through a heart symbol. It, it just had never been done before. And of course everybody knows the Three of Swords card from the White Smith. So again, very much alike. And this is another set of cards identified by Giordano Berti. And Giordano Berti is a historian and a tarot expert. The Three of Swords. Again, basically the same card. The other one is the Queen of Cups. Here is the Queen of Cups and the Solar Busca. And what is different about this Queen of Cups is, first of all, this is a Queen who is sitting outside. All of the Marseille decks usually, I, I think they all do, they all have the court cards all basically sitting at court, you know, obviously inside a palace. And this queen is sitting outside, you know, there's clouds there. And also this is a very unusual looking chalice type of cup. It's particularly unique and unusual. So if you compare this with the Queen of Cups from the Wade Smith, you know, we've got a very unusual looking chalice or cup here, sort of carrying on the same theme, sitting in the same direction and outside. So this is the third set of cards that Giordano Berti has identified and I agree with him as well as the Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands of the Wake Smith, basically identical to the Ten of Swords of the Solar Busca. So that's the Queen of Cups. Now the cards that I have, oh actually before I get to those two sets, uh, the, the other one is the Seven of Swords. So here is the Seven of Swords of the Solar Busca and it's very similar to the Seven of Swords in the Wade Smith. He's, he's got their swords here in a scabbard or some kind of bag. They have been kind of put aside or they are around the figure. So he's taking he's taking leave. And here is the here is the seven of swords. And in this case in the Wade Smith deck he's looking back. But this also very similar as well. Not as similar as the others, but this is another set of cards that Giordano Berti has identified. And I agree with him as well on this one. So Seven of Swords. And I should add that this is also the Seven of Swords. You know, this has been marked the Seven, seven as well. And in this case, you know, this was numbered as Three of Swords, same kind of numbering and everything. And this is, you know, the Ten of Swords, which is number, number 10. It's basically the Ten of Wands card. Now the other two sets of cards that I am identifying is, in the Solar Busca, this is the Six of Coins. Six of Coins, and I think a lot of people would recognise this as the Eight of Coins in the White Smith. Again, facing the same way at work.
work, you know, being a craftsman of some kind. So this is very similar to very, very similar cards. And there's a kind of a wooden stool here present as there is with the eight of coins. So I think this is this is very similar to, you know, hammer, hammer in hand, same thing. So another very similar card. Six of coins and six of coins and eight of coins. And the other one that I think is again is quite similar is the Queen of Swords of the Solar Busca. And again, this is a queen who is outside. There's clouds there in the background. And here is the Queen of Swords sitting outside as well. The fact that these queens are outside is really unusual. As I said, for this time, all the Marseille decks and Visconti, all of these types of decks, they were all sitting inside at court within the palace and these are in the Solar Busca is showing the Queen's outside as as is the White Smith Queens. So I wanted to show you some of these cards from from the Solar Busca to compare with the Wade Smith cards because I think uh, some people probably think if they've heard about the Solar Busca they probably assume that it's just maybe two, two sets of cards but um, as I was saying Giordano Berti identified you know four sets of cards and I, and I found two others so there are many similarities. A lot of people think that, and I'm talking about the court cards and the minor cards, the major arcana are quite different with the Wade Smith and the Solar Busk is you know, unique in, with its um, major arcana anyway. But, um, you know, it needed to be mentioned and shown because, you know, the Solar Busk was, was, you know, absolutely the first scenic pit deck at least 400 years before the Wade Smith deck and there is documentation of Arthur Waite instructing Pamela Coleman Smith to sketch some of these solar busca photographs for inspiration. So I just wanted to show some of those cards today so that people can see the similarity and know of the connection because there's a lot of people who think or assume that the Wade Smith deck was absolutely the first um, scenic pip deck but as you can see by the solar bus cards that I've shown uh, as far as the minor arcana is concerned you know, it was not the Wade Smith was not the first semi pit deck okay so I hope you enjoyed seeing some of those images and I'll put some details below the video thanks for watching bye for now